بنقدر نحكي لي أو ريفرش أور ميموري ريجاردينج أور بريفيس لكتشر لما حكينا عن كونسيومر بيهيفير أند واي إتس امبورتنت تو أندرستاند هاو أور كونسيومرز أور كاستمرز بيهيف دو يو هاف أني ثوتس؟ كان ذير أر سيفرال ستيبس ذات فولد باي كونسيومرز بيفور ذير ميكينج ذير بيرشيسينج ديسيجن حد بيحكي لي ذا لاست ستيب of consumer behavior, ايش بنسميها؟ post purchasing evaluation, right? اوكي. الهم سامعيني انتم مزبوط؟ بان الصوت واضح سامعينا اوكي اوكي سو اي وونت يو تو ريمبر اور تو ثينك اوف اني كايند اوف سيرفيس اورجانايزيشن انكلودينج ذا فارماسيوتيكال كومبانيز انكلودينج كوميونيتي فارماسيز انكلودينج تشين فارماسيز انكلودينج هوسبيتال فارماسيز اوكي Any organization you think about, marketing is responsible to do several things. The first one is to design the service and deliver it. Okay, and we're always targeting patient or customer's satisfactions. Okay, we need to meet their wants and needs in order to, be, to make them satisfied. Now, we all know why we need our customers to be satisfied of or regarding our services okay satisfied customers they're gonna come back over and over to receive the, the services more and more they're gonna be your loyal to your services and company they're gonna make you uh, uh, better off in terms of business okay they can promote the word of mouth regarding your business so they're gonna work as advocate for your business and that means they're gonna save you a lot of money to do ads, okay? And do different types of promotional uh, strategies. And then satisfaction is very important. Customer satisfaction is very important. And marketing is trying to make sure after delivering the services and meeting uh, our target customers' needs and wants and expectations, they're gonna make sure like you already or the customers are satisfied, okay? And the company, already communicated the service brand attributes to those customers. They always follow up with the customers, okay? Time. The customer satisfaction is very important in the process of marketing, okay? Making your customers uh, 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 finding what they're looking for in the services, whether this service is uh, uh, coming from a pharmacist, coming uh, from uh, uh, different company, okay, there is kind of satisfaction every customer is looking for. Okay. Next slide. Okay. Now I want to ask you a question. I want you to remember uh, different places or organizations that you are working with. For example, uh, grocery stores, a uh, bookstores, uh, a pharmacy, um, uh, a mall, or um, what is that, whatever you're thinking about, something or organization or a company that you visit over and over and you feel loyal to that company or to, to that services provided by the company. And you start asking yourself why you are, why you are loyal to these places. Why you keep going over and over? Why you like restaurant X over other restaurants? Why you go to mall X other than uh, or more frequently 
than other places. While you are dealing with this box stores, while you are dealing with the pharmacy at the end of the street, while you are going to this chain pharmacy, okay? Why you are dealing with this particular pharmacist over and over. So I want you to ask yourself, why you keep loyal to, to certain or to some uh, uh, companies or to some services? Okay, this could be due to price. Okay, they provide you a good price and a good quality. This could be service quality, product quality, situational factors, individual personal characteristics. Can I have a big deal at any metal ala hadhi items or hadhi concepts? So you are going to a particular place or you are dealing, for example, with, with a particular pharmacy and you, you keep going over and over and you get all your services and products from that pharmacy. Now you need to answer the questions, why? Why do you feel loyal to that pharmacy? Is it because the service quality? Is it the product equality that you're getting from that pharmacy? Is it situational factors? You have some uh, 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 situational factors like your social status, uh, uh, where you live, uh, uh, the family, fa some family factors, some personal factors. Okay. Is it like the philosophy of yours that why you need to buy this particular product from this pharmacy? Always, if you remember of different factors, you're going to find like maybe one or two of these answers are the main reasons of you being a lawyer to that uh, particular business. So sometimes we, we go to a particular stores because they're providing a very good customer service and that makes me satisfied, okay? Sometimes we go to another company because they provide you a luxury service, okay? Sometimes we go to McDonald's because we need a fast service, okay? We, we have a few minutes to get our meal and take off. Sometimes you go, uh, uh, you, you, you buy a particular product because it's user friendly. You, you buy a device or a laptop with some uh, uh, features. You, you ask why, you say because it's, it's user friendly. It's not complicated, okay? It's not complex. I can easily use it, okay? Then high factors, these are the reasons that affect your satisfaction and influence your choices and could control your choices to be a loyal to that particular business or finding or looking for alternatives. Okay, so this could be, for example, when you go to a particular community services or to a particular community pharmacy, for example, and you find the products are the brands that you are looking for, you are not price sensitive, so you are willing to, to pay like high price. And the pharmacists over there, they're providing you a good service. They're asking you about your uh, health conditions. They're asking you if you need help regarding these medications. They're trying uh, uh, to provide you uh, with more counseling and tips regarding these new medications. They keep calling you every month to remind you to refill your prescriptions. They call you every uh, uh, time. They have like a, a health campaign so you can go and uh, participate, you know? So this is called service quality. Product quality. Okay. I think some ask a question. What about the location of the pharmacy? Which factor is that? So your friend asking the location of the pharmacy. Restaurant is uh, if somebody is trying to to join the class, I think. Okay. Okay. So your friend asking the location of the pharmacy, which factor is that? Now, when we're talking about satisfaction, customer satisfaction, any factor might impact your satisfaction. But eventually, you are looking for a value as a customer's 
you're going to look for a trade off between the price you're going to pay, okay, and the benefit you're going to get. The price you're going to pay and the benefit you're going to get. This is called the value. So the value is different than the price. It's a trade off between price, okay, and benefit. Now, before answering your questions, remember, customers coming to the pharmacy, they gonna deal with different uh, 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 items. First, they gonna deal with the product, okay? If they uh, bought OTC with a good quality, uh, fast reliever of, of, of the pain or for what they're looking for. After they interact with the product, they gonna interact with the services, okay? the service provided by the pharmacy or the, the front stage of the blueprint, the, the services provided by the backstage, okay, the organization of the whole pharmacy, the appointment you are taking, the waiting time, all these services is going to influence your choices next time. Also, you are interacting with the pharmacists themselves. And that's why we said last time the consistency is very important factor, okay? If you receive a good services from one pharmacist, next day you, you went to the same pharmacy and receive different services from another or from his colleague, you're gonna feel like dissatisfied if that service was lower. Now, if you feel high value of this pharmacy, okay, and you find the service is really up to your uh, needs and wants, you're gonna be loyal. Now, if you are loyal to that business, Okay, if you are loyal to that business, the location now is not really important. Okay, so if you are loyal to a business or to a particular organization or to a particular pharmacy or to a particular company, you're going to keep dealing with that business because you are loyal. And this is the definition of loyal. Okay, so now the location means nothing for you. Okay, because if you're going to save the time and go to the next pharmacy or to the next business, you might not get the value you're looking for. And the value, again, is a trade-off between price, okay, money, and the benefit. So you might save some money for getting the same services, but the benefit or the quality of service might not be up to your standard. Okay? Okay. So different factors influencing the customer satisfaction. And again, why we need our customers to be satisfied about our services because satisfied customers, they're gonna make uh, uh, make it as a word of mouth. They, they're gonna tell friends, family, colleagues about your services. They're gonna be like an advocate for your business. Okay, they're gonna support other people to buy from you. They're gonna help you to improve the image and the brand loyalty of your products. So in other words, they're, they're saving you a lot of money, okay? So that's why أحيانا إحنا بنتعامل يعني بتلاقي بعض الأشخاص عندهم a, a golden member by some airlines, by some Amazons, for example, by some restaurants, they're getting priority in some banks, they provide the golden members. So once you go to that place, you get the special services. They treat you very well. They give you more details, okay? هم سميها customer service in, in an upgraded term that we actually we call it customer experience okay so customer service the trying to sometimes or most of the time trying to be reactive okay they're trying to understand if you need something if something missing if you are not satisfied about their products if you have complaint if you're trying to uh, 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 switch some products because you are not happy with that, okay, they're going to react, okay, to make you satisfied. This is the customer service, okay, they always, once you call a company or uh, 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 any uh, particular business you are dealing with and you are not satisfied regarding a particular part of the product, you call them, they're trying to help you, they apologize most of the time, they're asking you to wait on the line, they say, Thank you for waiting. Thank you for bearing with us. Uh, uh, let me help you with this. How about this? So this is customer service. But actually, when you are loyal to that business, and when they are starting to treating you as a customer experience uh, uh, situation, they're dealing you as a friend. 
And if you remember the script, blueprint and script, you call the company, they ask you specific questions. Can you give me your name? What's your project? What's your complaint? Can you answer this? Can you give me some code numbers? You know, so they, they, they talk to you by reading from script. They have something written. They need to stick with, with, with the questions written, with the guidelines, with everything. Hakena, this script might be not really a good idea because you're going to feel like you are talking with a machine. Okay, in the Tehki Ma machine. But when you are, uh, when you go to, for example, different or high ranking, uh, uh, high caliber business, they're going to deal you as a friend. How are you doing today? How we can help you? Let me give you more details. To trade it عليها because you are a loyal business, they call you every year to remind you about your uh, anniversary, for, for example, or send you some cards or send, send you some offers regarding like a, a, a good vacation, you know? So they always give you more details. They remind you about good things, okay? They keep you like part of their business. They give you the perceived role that you are part of this business and they make you feel important and they give you the autonomy that you are looking for. Okay? Tayyip. Can you write the slides? Do I saw it so far? Any questions? Okay, one minute to have the Okay, shaking the slide back, Mauritania. Ah, oh, Shaifin, Doctor. Okay, good. So this is like the last two slides. So satisfaction. So now, are you aware why it's important to make your customer satisfied regarding your products, your services? Okay, let me just show you one slide showing the tolerance zone. You see the tolerance zone? Every customer has its own zone of tolerance. What does that mean? If you are meeting the patient or the customer satisfaction and you provided desired or ideal expectations, okay, for those customers and they found like you meet beyond their expectations, they're going to be really satisfied okay and loyal to your business 
if you minimally make their satisfaction and needs and wants, this we call adequate or acceptable expectations. So you are meeting adequate or acceptable expectations of your customers. Your minimum, the minimum tolerable expectations happened here, okay, in this area. While in this area, it's a desired area, okay, because you are making a good experience for your customers. In between, there's a tolerable or zone of tolerance. Zone of tolerance. Okay. Okay. For that, the market is trying to provide desired or meet the either expectations, or because, like, think about it, uh, uh, like uh, a good loyal customers to a particular business, okay, and you're paying like too much money, your expectations must be very high. If you order, for example, like fiber internet. Okay, you cannot expect the same services provided by by the landline, for example, or the, the the traditional internet. Okay, if you're paying like too much money for a high-ranking restaurant, okay, or a brand restaurant, you expect something really high. You are not expecting adequate services. You're expecting desirable beyond. You need to go beyond your expectations. This is what you are looking for. Now it's important to, for marketer, okay, the the customer satisfaction in general, to attract new customers. How this could happen? Because the old customers or the loyal customers can make it word of mouth. Can they can share their experience with the new customers? So you're actually attracting new customers, and by that you're making your business better. Oh, you're increasing the market share. You can co charge consumers higher prices. Okay, why? Because as a marketer, you deliver a service, okay, and you keep following up with those customers that to make sure that you are meeting their expectations. And along like year after year, you absolutely gonna meet their standards and their expectations. And don't forget that there are many competitors in the market. So of course, you're gonna add more advantages to your products and that's why you're going to charge them more and more. OK. Higher return on investment, you can make more profitability with making your customer satisfied. OK. Now, if you meet the customer satisfactions, OK, you make them happy. OK, if the customer stay in the, the tolerance or the zone of tolerance, they we call it mild satisfied. And those people might leave your business easily or come back just in need. If you never or if you did not meet the expectation of your customers, they're gonna be dissatisfied and they will never come back to your business. And then you might ask the, the questions: how I can make them satisfied? It depends. Okay, it depends. There are different categories of satisfaction. I can if you desire satisfaction, okay. You make the service perfect, okay? And the people who are asking for desired satisfaction, they're gonna pay more. They're gonna be loyal for several reasons. And there's kind of normative expectations. People expect, like, if you get, uh, if you went to a fast food restaurant, you expect something. If you went to five star restaurant, you expect something different, of course. If you get this painkiller, like the generic one, you expect uh, to relieve your pain in five, in like in, in an hour or two. If you if you bought the, the brand name, you might expect like five minutes relief, okay? Or you might expect uh, uh, more adherence with that medication. So it depends. Who are your customers? Are those who are looking for desired expectations? Are those who are just expecting the regular or the norm? Or those who are looking for adequate, acceptable expectations, okay? نقدر نوقف هون إحنا لعند ال perceived value because again the perceived value is very important for the customers 
and the value doesn't mean is what's the price you are paying for. If you are remember, if you need uh, 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 your pharmacology book and you have um, a med exam and you need to pass it with 90s out of 100, okay. Now you perceive the book and there's offer on these books, for example, on the bookstores, you perceive the high value of this book. OK, because in, in a trade off with the price and the benefit you're going to get off of passing your exam is going to be much higher than the price you're going to pay. OK, this is called perceived value. Had the end of so so far. So customer satisfaction is very important. How we can make them satisfied? What are the factors that influence their satisfactions? What is customer service and what's customer experience? These uh, concepts are very important for you to manage and administer like your community pharmacy or where you're going to be in charge in the, in the near future in a very uh, uh, beautiful and well-organized way. Thank you so much. Khalil Bis Akhud Hudur Ghia one more time. Okay, thank you so much.